What's the crack, lads? We are back with yet another video, and we're going to be taking a look at Phillips today. Calvin Phillips, who is an anchorman. Anchorman is probably my favorite DMF position. He is a five star, he is part of these back in the game player nominating contracts that you can get. Now, look, there is a lot of competition for who should get your nominating contracts. I have two nominating contracts. Well, I have one left. We're after already buying uh, Reinildo. I've done a review on him, we've done one on Neuer as well. Um, and I'm kind of torn on who to get between Phillips and um, Bentancourt. I mean, because there are some nice players in this. We already got Corona as well on our second profile on our Road to Glorious. So you can check him out and we will kind of mix and match. But you do get a free nominating contract from a 15, um, from the 15, if, even if you don't buy the match pass, just a free match pass, right? Now, the thing I like about Phillips uh, is that he's a very, very solid DMF. He's got standard form, which is fine, I suppose, the C rating. That's not going to really come into it once the season comes back, because City will win more often than not. So they're, you know, similar to Neuer with Bayern Munich. Um, these teams are going to be always in good form, you know. Now, I know Phillips is kind of more of a bench warmer. We'll see if his role changes this season, obviously. Um, but we will, we will, we'll have to see how that goes, right? But the thing I like about him is that he's just a very simple player to, to, guide, uh, to, to level up and there's a really easy guide for him because you're maxing out what makes him good and kind of, yeah, it's a, it's a very easy anchorman. I mean, you don't need to be playing too much football with him. You're not going to be getting the ball and running the length of the pitch. It's literally the minute you get the ball at your feet with an anchorman, you're, you're just passing it off to your more creative players, right? So as I said, I do like the fact he has one touch pass, way to pass, a low lofted, and then man marking interception and fighting spirit. He doesn't have blocker, he doesn't have heading, he doesn't have area superiority. If you're looking to play him as kind of like the main pivot man uh, at the back of a, you know, 3-5-2 with him as the main DMF, right? But he does have some other stuff going for him, right? Now, if you are able to add blocker, heading, or sliding tackle to any of these stats, right? Any of these that you see here, these three here, it is going to be making a lot of a difference to him. Now, he did also have an England card as well that had better tackling but had less passing and had a be uh, better stamina, but he only had 26 levels. This guy has got a whopping 35 levels, and that makes all the difference with this card. There was also another card here as well that we saw. He had 30 levels and, and better aggression, but minus four in the lofted pass. So it's not the best version of him ever, I would say. Um, but it is a good one because, look, you don't need to spend a penny to get him. He's a free five star. So you can just get him very, very easily and, you know, play 15 matches and choose to get him. If, if you've the rest of your squad kind of mess, messed up, right? Or... Uh, not like you have it rest of your squad kind of like in a good spot right i think dmf is a really difficult position you will know if you've got a good dmf because he will start to dominate games for you some people love rodri fabinho casemiro this version of casemiro this dmf anchorman player of the week a lot of people swear by him he is an absolute unit in midfield makalele obviously comes into it as well patrick vieira anchorman playing style if you use deep line on him with the way the game plays at the moment just trust me on that's a little tip but also, one of my favorite guys was Zakaria. This guy was an uh, absolutely insane card, and he kind of tracks up very well with Phillips. You've got that high aggression, you've got speed acceleration, you've got a little bit of physical contact and jump, and the same with Phillips here. It's a very solid card. But the thing I like about Phillips, lads, is the fact that he has one-touch pass, and he's also got low lofted pass. That means you can tread lovely balls through, especially in co-op if you play a lot of co-op. Low lofted pass is a seriously underrated stat and player skill, I should say, in that, right? So it makes up for the lack of his passing, okay? So I definitely do recommend him. This is the build I would go for. You've got 13 into defending, 9 into aerial strength, 7 and 7 into dexterity and lower body, and then passing and dribbling are 2 and 3 respectively. Now, if you wanted to max out, right? This is something that I know a few people will ask me. If you wanted to max out his... If you wanted to max out his defensive capabilities, that he's just kind of buzzing around the place, right? I know people will ask me, is this kind of sweet point of 88 tackling, 88 defensive engagement, and 95 aggression okay to be able to throw a few more into speed and acceleration or whatever way you want to do it? I would say yes, because the game kind of, especially physical contact wise, the game does kind of like... The game does kind of like exist in its own way now that a lot of the time you can just pass through lines very easily, right? So that is another qu uh, quite nice build of him there where you max out the aggression at 95 and limit it to that, but you got 74 uh, acceleration and 76 balance, which with the boost to the player form arrow, when he's on form, you're going to get that over 75 on both of those. So that's just another thing. But as I said, blocker on this card will turn him into an absolute beast. Casemiro has got blocker. Zakaria has got blocker. Um, 
um, Barrios has got blocker. So all of these DMF anchormen are just there. There, if if a DMF isn't working for you, if you have Phillips and he's not working for you, just get rid of him, lads, because DMFs can win you games. It's probably the most important position on the pitch, depending on what formation that you play and how good you are at the game. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. I'll be back quite soon. I think we've already covered Neuer and Corona and Rhinildo by now. Um, so next up, we will have Kempembe at Bentecourt. The rest of the players on the on the team, they're okay. I mean, but we don't need to really go into them. Immobile is kind of, me and him don't really get on. So uh, I probably won't do him. But Kempembe is just a very, very interesting player as well because he's got such low player um, uh, levels at 19. So I do think that if Calvin Phillips had like maybe three more levels, he would probably enter the sphere of one of the best DMFs pound for pound. And then player ID comes into it, how they actually handle on the pitch. There's a lot that's more than stats. So you do have to play with the cards a little bit as well, which we have done. But anyway, that is it for me. I'll be back quite soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Peace.